Hey everybody, sorry it's been so long. I've actually had a really hard time uploading videos to YouTube um, for whatever reason, so I'm really hoping that this one goes. I'm going to try to make it as quick as possible. I don't think it's a length issue. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Um, but this is going to be, today I'm 17 weeks and 2 days, so this is going to be my 14, 15, and 16 week update. Um, not a whole lot has happened, to be honest with you all. Um, you know, things are going pretty good. Um, uh, let's start with week 14. Week 14, I had a lot of sickness. I don't know why, like, basically morning sickness again. Um, just where I didn't feel good, like, all day long. Uh, that pretty much lasted that entire week. Um, week 15, I felt a little bit better. Um, and so, you know, things are going better. I, I definitely feel better. I don't get as sick. I have a lot more energy. I've been able to do a lot more uh, around the house and everything, so that's good. We got our crib in. We put it all together uh, just to make sure everything fit and everything. The baby's room is not ready for the crib yet, so it's basically sitting in my living room, taken, you know, taken apart again. Um, but it looks awesome. I'm really excited to find out the gender. I cannot wait <laughs> so that we can, you know, buy bedding if we have to, you know, start getting everything around. I went to my doctor's appointment for January. Um, Corky, stop. I had, um, basically it was just a, you know, like a general appointment. He asked if I had any questions. I really didn't. I spoke with him a little bit about the blood work. He said he really recommends that I go to that appointment and I had kind of decided to go and I'll talk to you all about that here in just a second. Um, he couldn't, he tried to do, he didn't say, okay, first of all, sorry. He didn't say anything about my iron being low, so I'm not going to worry about taking supplements. I was actually going to ask him and I forgot about it. Um, but if, you know, I feel like if it was really important, he would have mentioned it because he looked over the blood work again while I was right there. So, um, he did say, you know, the same thing they had said, the glucose was a little bit high. Um, so he recommended that I do go to that doctor. Now he did try to do a Doppler to get the, you know, the, the baby's heartbeat. He could not find it. Um, he could hear movement, so I wasn't, you know, overly concerned, but they did take me in for an ultrasound to get it. Um the bait they were able to get it without a problem it's just because i think because you know i'm heavier uh you know the doppler i don't think is you know highly sensitive um you know the baby's still not very big so you know it's it, i really was not concerned at all um but they they took me with the ultrasound the baby's heartbeat was 160 beats per minute the ultrasound was not as good we didn't get to see as much as we did on the previous ultrasound because the first thing they have you do is go in and empty your bladder so you know it wasn't as clear but we heard the heartbeat. It was nice and strong. So I just have a couple pictures I'll show you guys. Like I said, these are not at all as good as the last ones. You can see, you know, this is the baby's head. Here's another one. This is a picture my husband wanted. It shows the two different brain hemispheres that have developed. And then this one just has the heartbeat on it and shows another picture of the baby. So, like I said, those are definitely were not as good as last one. We didn't really get to see the baby moving around a lot because she was trying so hard to, um, you know, measure the things she needs to measure. Everything was measuring right on time. Um, I forget exactly what day I had it, but it was exactly right on. I would think it would say on here, but I don't see it right off. But last time I, I was measuring a little bit early. Or, you know, a little bit, a few days ahead. This time it was right on. Um, okay, so I came home from the doctor's appointment. I was, I was gonna, um, you know, I was thinking about going to that appointment with the endocrinologist. And the next day I got a phone call that I actually missed because my cell phone was upstairs and I was downstairs or vice versa or whatever. And I got my message and it was the lady from the endocrinologist's office and she really ticked me off. She was like, um, hi, you know, this is whatever her name is the endocrinologist's office, you know, we're calling to schedule your appointment. I see that you canceled your other appointment with your primary doctor. Um, she goes, I'm really concerned about you and your baby, blah, 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 blah. She just really ticked me off. I'm not a patient of her and I don't, hers, and I don't really feel like she should be going into my medical records without my permission, without my consent. I mean, I seriously thought about calling the office and speaking to the office supervisor. I was that mad about it, but I'm just, I'm not going to that office. I absolutely refuse. Um, what I have decided to do is um, borrow my mom's glucose meter for a little while, for a few weeks, because she doesn't test like she's supposed to, but that's a whole other story. Um, but I'm gonna borrow it, I'm gonna check my blood in the morning, I'm gonna check it at night after dinner, I'm gonna keep a record of it. I'm smart enough to know what's high, what's low, if there's a problem, I'll talk to him about it, um, you know, at the next appointment, but that's what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna be very clear with him. And the nice thing that's nice about him 
is ROB, he does not pressure, like he didn't push, like he wasn't even, he was like, you know, I recommend you go because that way they can monitor it and they can help you or whatever. You know, he's, but he, it wasn't, I mean, he kind of understands that it's not like a huge issue. He just, he, like he said, he just wants to make sure that if it develops into an issue, I find out sooner than later instead of waiting until I do the glucose, you know, where you drink the glucose, you know, stuff and they check your blood like an hour and then if it's high three hours later or whatever. Um, I don't think I told you guys I got the results back for the NT scan. Everything was fine. Um, everything was perfectly normal, so I was happy about that. But still glad that I got it done because I got to see the baby. And those were by far the best pictures so far. Um, we set up the next appointment. It is February 8th. From there, two weeks from then, I will be 20 weeks. So that'll be my 18-week appointment. I'll be 20 weeks. They'll set up the ultrasound. <coughs> be able Corky, stop. <coughs> Sorry, I'll be able to schedule the appointment to determine gender. We are so excited. We were hoping so much that we could, um, they'd be able to see at the, because I was 16 weeks, um, at the, the last ultrasound, I think it was 16 weeks, but they caught it. It was 15. I don't know, I can't remember. Um, but if for some reason, I mean, I definitely don't hope for this. But if he cannot determine, or if he cannot get the Doppler to hear the baby's heartbeat again, we'll have another ultrasound, at which point they will def should definitely, if the baby cooperates, be able to tell the gender. So, um, you know, I just, I really want to know. Um, I think I've been feeling the baby move. Um, you know, it's difficult to tell at this stage, and they told me that because the placenta is in the front that it would be harder. But um, I'm feeling like the little flutters on the, mostly on the left side, um, like almost on the side. So I wonder if it's not like the baby kicking or rubbing right there or whatever. I don't really know. It's not, you know, real heavy. It's just, it's like a little flutter. Um, it might be something else. I don't really know, but you know, in the few, next few weeks I should be able to tell more. Um, let's see. Thanks to everyone that has newly subscribed. I cannot believe I have as many subscribers as I do, especially when I haven't been able to make a video in three weeks. Um, but I really want to thank everybody. Also, the contest that I did, I am so sorry that I have not gotten around to doing it. I'm going to do a separate video because I have to go back and look at who said what. But we definitely have chosen a winner. And I will definitely get the, um, book thing, journal out to you guys. Or out to the winner. Um, I'll email you separately. Um, that's it. Um, we really haven't bought anything since we bought the crib. Uh, the crib came in super quick, so um, I am kind of hesitant to order the furniture because the uh, dresser, I think it is, or the nightstand, I can't remember which, says it takes a super long time to come in, which I thought, okay, we'll order now, but um, I really don't have any more room to store any furniture right now. Um, baby's room is coming along good. Uh, he's worked, uh, my husband has worked not so much on the baby's room, it's all wired, it hasn't been drywalled yet, which I'm kind of disappointed in, um, but, you know, he's working as hard as he can, as fast as he can. He's kind of, he, they had to build the stairs to the attic, and it's just been a thing, a thing so. But um, I'll do a, as soon as he gets moving around a little bit further, I'll do another video so you guys can see. But um, I hope everyone is doing well. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.